Hey guys, Juno here, and we're back with another part in The Evil Within. Oh no. No, 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 you don't see me. I ain't gonna die. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Oh, hello. I'll, uh, I'll tell you that. Is this a... 345 Cedar Avenue. <gasps> it up. So, what's in here? Hello. It's the fun place. Get down! Get on your knees! Unknown residence has been logged. Has it now? Ooh. So it looks like it's outside. Uh. Or it's in the garage. Either or. Okay. Move. Move it. So it's in the garage, I think. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, I'll take that metal pipe. I'll take that fuse. I'll take those weapon parts. This shit ain't creepy at all. What the hell is this doing here? Oh, it's a psychological evaluation. You know what? No, let's fucking read that for shits and giggles. Okay, here we go. Detective Sergeant. Detective Sergeant? Whatever. Detective Sergeant Castanellos. Following the events at Beacon Mental Hospital in October 2014, departmental po department policy requires that you undergo a mandatory psychological evaluation. Please report to the Standards and Training Division to schedule your fitness for duty evaluation. Dwayne, Dwayne Wright, Police Psychological Services, handwritten note. Sebastian, this is nothing to worry about. Just a few boxes. Answer a few questions. SOP. Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to... Explain to him what happened. All right, who's here? What? Why is the front? What the fuck? Oh no, you're gonna jump scare me. Phone number 15. Interview with Detective Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos. Could you please tell me about that day of being in mental hospital? I told you ten times already. Let's go through it one more time. <sighs> this is more like an interrogation than an interview. Please. Detective. Okay. Can't leave. The game is forcing me to go through this memory. That door is locked. Okay, so I can still use my gun. What the hell? Ah, uh, 
Oh, psychiatric assessment of uh, Detective Sebastian Cast Castanellos. Well, cleared of any wrongdoing and disappearances of Detective Oda and Junior Detective Kidman, Detective Castanello's statement about the Beacon Mental Hospital incident had been vague and evasive. Initially reluctant to speak to a mental health specialist, Detective Castanellos eventually opened up about what happened that day. It is my expert opinion that he's suffering from paranoid delusions. The recent death of his daughter, combined with whatever happened at Beacon, seems to have fractured his grip on reality. It is my recommendation that Detective Castanellos, the bottom half of the paper, has been torn off. Yeah, they did. Okay. Uh, can I, can I, like, leave or something? What the fuck? See, they... See, the operatives of the STARS team told uh, the Raccoon City Police Department that Umbrella was behind, you know, the mansion incident, and that there were zombies. You know what they fucking said? You're crazy. Then again, a few months later, the outbreak of the Raccoon City happens, and, uh, guess who's laughing now? Not them. No, because they're dying in death. You can. You cannot keep me here. You cannot keep me here. Who is he? What? Oh no! How much further down the rabbit hole do I have to go? This was just a. Mi this was unintentionally a detour. this? Is that one of those slides? Yeah, it is. Uh, Sebastian. Beacon. I can't be back. Are you kidding me? We're with this fucking old ass, uh... You kidding me? This is the camera view we're gonna go with. Not full screen. Not ever. I remember the, the original game was like this to make it more cinematic. Quote, unquote. I can't do this. That is me, apparently. Hi, me. Uh, hi, me. When are you going to jump scare me? There it is. Whoa, hello. See, all the telltale signs were there. What the hell is going on? 
Uh, there's some more shit and gear there, so I'm gonna grab it. If you don't mind. Are those just the memories? What do you want? Sebastian, are you alright? Your vitals suddenly spiked. You were about to go into cardiac arrest. I saw a beacon. I was there again. How could that be? This is a completely new stem. I don't know. But I know what I saw. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. The place is trying to mess with me. Can't get distracted. Gotta find Lily. Well, no need to worry about that, buddy. Because, well, we gotta go this way anyway. Well, that's where I need to go. But they're blocking it. God damn it. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Those things will kill her if I don't do something. Uh, what? Fine. Okay. I'll go. I guess I'll help. God damn it. I guess the Jesus juice didn't work there. Damn it. I believe an original complaint of the game is was there there was a lack of ammo. Which I could believe it. Oh good. Now I gotta go save her. Or don't. I don't care. I guess this is where she was trying to go. 344 Cedar Avenue. Was that just a special event that triggers? I guess. Oh well. I, uh. Well, it does save me ammunition. So I can't complain, but I could have got something out of it. Just my sanity. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh! Never mind. Those things will kill her if I don't do something. Oh yeah, so I guess I'll go do something because nobody else can fucking do it. Well, rifle rounds do the trick. I gotta get more of those.
Oh, hell no. Come on. Just uh, turn around. There you go. Down you go. Come on. Ooh, I got an achievement. I am the knight. I am the Batman. This way, not the other way. Okay, stay down, honey. Go down! I am the Batman! Give me more of that green goop. In fact, give me more of that green group. Well, I only uh, wasted a handful of bullets. Not even, like three. All in all, good show. Minus the one that I used. Well, the sniper rifle. Hi! It's okay, I took care of them. Please open the door. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm not a monster. Thank you. You saved me. I thought I was a goner for sure. It's okay. Calm down. What's going on out there? How am I supposed to know? If anybody should be asking what's going on, it's me. Look, I just got here. I'm even more confused than you are. Oh, yeah? What's your name? It's Sebastian. Sebastian Castellanos. Well, then you're not as confused as I am. I can't even remember my own name. I don't know what day it is. I don't even know where I am. God, what's happening to me? Just try to remember anything you can. One minute, I was in that office being interviewed by that Asian doctor lady. The next thing I know, I'm in this town I've never been to. Wearing clothes I've never seen, and there's this guy who says he's my husband telling me to run. Well, I'm not married, mister. None of this is real. It can't be. Okay, yeah, she's having a hallucinatory nightmare. Let me ask you something. What can you tell me about those things out there? I don't know. All I know is that they'll kill you if they get the chance. You should stay away from them. Any idea where they came from? That guy who said he was my husband kept looking over his shoulder at something. All of a sudden, he's screaming and starts to chip. It was horrible. So they used yeah, to yeah, yeah. I don't know anything. We're going to try to figure this out. Stay in here and keep the doors locked. I'm not, but thanks. If you need anything from the house, go ahead and help yourself. Let me ask you something. Wait, no. Uh. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, good. I mean, yeah, I appreciate the extra bullets. Really, I do. And the smoke powder. Is there anything else? No, you just have some spare ammunition. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad thing. Wait, what's that? No, it's something shiny. Okay, time to go get me my Jesus juice on. Alright, so I replaced the bullet. More for her. The finding Lily is the best thing for everyone here. What is that thing? I'm gonna call it a screecher until I'm told otherwise. I am sneaking. I am sneaking. I am totally not sneaking. Look, I just need to get inside and unlock that door. Yeah. 
Shut up. I'm getting out of here. Fuck you. Ha ha. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. No, what's okay. Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill, and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me, and it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that psycho I told you about? The one with the powers he shouldn't have? He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. I'm sorry we didn't have time for a briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Okay, calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. I'm on my way to City Hall. I'll call you later. Call you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give me that Jesus juice. Oh. Man, I wish coffee was literally this restorative. I'd drink it every day. I did. For a while. It was great. Enough that I could literally... I couldn't literally operate without it. Until... I decided to go on like two weeks of vacation and kick it, kick the bucket. Okay. I will be back with more Evil Within. See you guys soon.